Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Phoenix Curl. This is how you guys can get your uh, guitar, bass, all wirelessly hooked up so you guys can move it around. But this is the Phoenix Curl guitar transmitter. You guys can check it out on Amazon. Now in this box is the guitar transmitter and then the wireless receiver. Pretty easy to set up. I'm going to show you guys in a bit. In the back here, you got all these specs for this. So another channels you can do is 100, and the working distance is about 165 feet to 175. And then the guitar transmitter lasts you about eight hours, fully charged. So um, here on the box shows you what's in it. I'm gonna unbox this and show you guys. As always, Phoenix Troll gives you a case to protect your um, guitar receivers. So here we got the open. Pop this up, and in here is what we got. So here it comes with the manual. Check that out. I've got another uh, sticker QR code thingy. Um, here we got some plugs. We got the USB plug to charge the. Guitar transmitter here. Then we got the quarter inch for the plug into your amp or into a USB uh, interface. Now it has an adapter too that comes with it. So you can do quarter inch, quarter inch, or quarter inch, and the one eighth inch. And here we got some uh, cable antennas, which I usually don't use, so put this on the side. And then we got the antennas for the wireless receiver, which is important. So put this here. Got the power adapter. And then these are the racks if you guys are going to use it for your studio racks. Or um. Then we have the wireless receiver. Look at it, it's pretty cool. And then back here, so this is the antennas you put it in. Right here is the XLR output, so I'm going to do that. Here is the um, mix out, which we use our quarter inch, and then the power adapter. So let's go and set this up, and I'll show you guys how this works. All right, so we're going to set up the wireless transmitter. We're going to start off with the antennas, so we're going to do the first antenna. All you're going to do is screw this in. Screw the other one. And then these you can actually angle. Um, so you're going to angle these up here. And then now we're going to use the um, quarter inch. So if you have an amp or a USB uh, interface, audio interface like I do, we're going to plug this to the amp or the interface and then this end or any other you know whichever end you want to use plug it into the mix out and then of course we're going to do the power adapter put this in and then plug this into the outlet and that's pretty much it for setting up the wireless receiver and now we get our guitar transmitter and then here you can angle it however you want. But there's the on and off switch. And there's also the USB port. All you do is turn it on. There should be a green light that you see on here. Um, that's all you gotta do. But I'm gonna plug this in and then turn it on. And that's it. All right, so I got the receiver set up. All you have to do is turn on the switch. And then you'll see the screen, it'll show all the information on there, the frequencies, and it also says, if you guys can see, it says mute on there. That's because this is not on yet. When you do turn it on, um, that goes away, your levels come up, and uh, yeah, it goes off on mute. So it's kind of good for being on stage so you don't really hear the click. So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm just gonna plug it into my guitar here and turn it on and then when it goes on you'll see it and I guess can so it sounds 
pretty clear. Um, not really. You don't hear any buzzing or any of those frequencies in there. So I'll just keep playing so you guys can hear how this sounds. So. You guys can hear it's just clean, crisp sound, uh, not so much disturbance. Now this thing does go, as it says, 165 feet. But right now I'm just kind of near, so you know. Of course, when you go farther away, you might hear some little uh, buzzing sounds, maybe. But so far, it's so good. So, hope you guys like this video. Go check it out. I have the link down below in the description. And um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.